एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी सो इन पार्ट वन वी डिड केले हेमल्टन थियरम एंड आइगन वैल्यूज वी हैव ऑलरेडी फाउंड आउट even now uh, we find uh, we found in words using keely hamilton theorem in part 2 we'll be covering eigen vectors and how with the help of eigen values we diagonalize any matrix welcome to s chand academy i am dr seema thakran if you want to study eigen values eigen vectors keely hamilton theorem in words of a matrix by keely hamilton theorem please refer to the book by s chand publishing the ebook link is given in the description box so let's starts with the uh, all, uh, uh, we have uh, got the eigen values for the matrix which uh, already so now eigen vectors so a matrix is 1 1 3 1 5 1 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this was our actual matrix lambda values were minus 2 3 and this was 6 so minus 2 3 6 this was the actual matrix and uh, these are the eigen values first i'll explain diagonalizable or diagonalization of a matrix what do you do in the diagonal or in the diagonal obviously it will be 3 by 3 only if you are diagonalizing uh, 3 by 3 matrix it, the result will be 3 by 3 what do you do write the eigen values in the diagonal this is diagonal main diagonal and rest of the elements you will be writing as zero this is how you diagonalize any matrix there is a lengthy way also but if you have eigen values this how you can diagonalize and it's easy and very easy uh, we can this is the easiest actually uh, for diagonalization of a matrix now corresponding to lambda minus 2 3 and 6 we'll find the eigen vectors how we find eigen vector so let x be the eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value this we are assuming and then we'll find actually this x vector is what vector so min uh, minus 2 lambda equal to minus 2 so the process will be same if i'm finding it with respect to lambda equal to minus 2 the rest for the rest 3 and 6 it will be completely same the process so now what do you do just consider this and this equation basically we have to uh remember if we are finding the eigen vectors now multiply a minus lambda and x i have added so this is homogeneous equation also we did this in uh, third or fourth lecture of the matrices so you can refer how we find or we how we solve the homogeneous part exactly the same thing i'll be doing but for more uh, practice you can refer that lecture so when you will multiply this will give you ax lambda x because the identity uh, when you will multiply i and x it will give you just lambda x so what is my a a is 113151 a 113151311 minus lambda i so lambda i is lambda how uh, what is the value of lambda i'll put it later lambda is minus 2 so it will give me lambda 0 0 0 lambda 0 0 0 lambda and now after subtracting my main equation is 1 5 minus lambda 1 3 1 1, 1 minus lambda equal to zero. Put the value minus two now. So when you will substitute, and x is or x is there. So this time it is non-determinant. It's just a normal bracket. X x is there. Now substitute uh, when you when you will substitute lambda minus plus two, 
uh, uh, minus 2 it will become plus so 3 1 3 1 7 1 3 1 and 3 this is the matrix and x is 0 so exactly the same way I'll be solving the way I did in uh, uh, homogeneous uh, equation solution so what I'll do I just uh, replace r r 1 just exceed r1 and r2 because uh, the, if the first element is 1 it, the calculation becomes simple so I am just exchanging my rows it will give me 171 1. exchange of rows first and second now these uh, uh, this element I will make 0 this element I will make 0 so r2 will go to r2 minus 3 r1 row elementary operations already we have done so refer to that lecture to understand more so r3 r3 minus 3 r1 my complete matrix will become 1 7 1 0 0 0 0 and this will not be 0 it just for first two uh, elements we are uh, first two elements of uh, this uh, row we are making uh, this column we are making 0 this and this so this is 0 now 1 minus 21 so minus 20 1 minus again the same 3 minus 3 0 and 3 minus 3 0 so this is my matrix and x is there now you can see these two uh, if uh, these two uh, rows are completely same so i can take out minus 20 minus 20 if this is zero we can easily take out any uh, common factor it will hardly like make a difference but if there is something here the b vector is non zero then we cannot do it but in this case we can do it means for eigen vectors we can take out common if it is because it will uh, give uh, it will simplify more so now r3 is r3 this element i am making zero so r3 minus simply r2 and finally i am done with the i am done with uh, making the uh, matrix in upper triangular form and there also i told you if you are solving system of linear equations first thing is that you make the equation or the matrix in upper triangular form and this is in upper triangular form now the rank of this matrix is how much 2 because 2 non zero rows so rank is 2 if rank is 2 then uh, and uh, how many unknowns 3 so it means any one uh, value you can give randomly so i'm just taking Suppose my x is x, y, z. So, I am taking z as any number k. So, let z is k. Now, simplify this. So, this will give me x plus 7y plus z equal to 0. And from here, y is 0. And z is already k. So, what will be x? It will be minus k. So, I got my vector x as x, y, z. And that is minus k 0 k if you will now keep putting a k values 1 0 never put k as 0 this is one thing you have to uh, note this never put k 0 this is never ever in the case of eigenvectors so k any non-zero value you will put you will get the vector it means a uh, corresponding to lambda minus 2 there are infinitely many vectors eigenvectors so this is how you find the eigenvectors and the same way you can do it for lambda 3 and lambda equal to 6. So this is the process. If you want to study eigenvalues, eigenvectors, Cayley-Hamilton theorem, inverse of a matrix by Cayley-Hamilton theorem, please refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe S. Chand Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates. Stay connected. Keep watching the upcoming videos. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.